Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. Before I start this, let me say this. Shout out to Boss Talk One on One for hitting over 201k. Y'all hear me? 201k. That's a big thing in this YouTube world. Y'all make sure y'all keep following, liking, and subscribing, and make sure y'all get that membership. That membership is very important. But in news today that you can use, let me tell y'all. Okay, so when I woke up this morning, I had an inbox for one of my dear friends. And I'm going to tell y'all what he said, okay? No shade, no nothing. But he said, he said, Unk look damn good to me and I want him. So I had to look and, and look what he was talking about, you know? So I went in and I did my research and typed in Shannon Sharp. Lord, what did I see? Well, we know that he has this walk, you know, he did. Let me, let me, in his defense, he had two hip replacements. I do know that. And some knee surgeries, you know, so we can't judge him on that walk. But I do want to play this clip for y'all and y'all tell me what y'all think. Make sure y'all get in those comments and tell me what y'all think. Now, I'm not saying that he is that way. And I'm saying that he's, I'm not saying that he's not, but I do remember that he did get on his podcast and say how he is hurt behind people saying these things about him, about him being gay. And I do understand that it's your reputation and things like that because people did see him courtside, front row with his stylist. I'm not saying that he's gay. And I'm not saying that he's not, but, and we also did see the makeup exhibit here. We did see the makeup, but to his defense, I do, I did, I watched a lot. I watched it live because I watch ESPN every morning. Now he did, it was a new makeup artist and she was Caucasian. So I understand that she may not gotten a color pattern right. I thought it was something wrong with my TV. Because it looked like he had some lip liner on and mascara. I just really didn't know what was going on. But, you know, I love Shannon Sharp, you know. And I know that he's been on the fire. All the comedians been after him. Um, I know uh, he just, I don't know. I just don't know what to say. You know, I'm, I'm not going to be biased about it because that's who am I to judge? I'm not God. But who are we? To judge anybody okay so with that being said I do want to talk about I did see that a school was under investigation in Oklahoma about some children I don't know they, they put the faces you know blurred the faces out so it has to be the children licking the other participants toes it had peanut butter on it now I don't know what that's about I know that we live in a world that is sexualized and everybody look at everything in a sexual way. And I definitely don't agree with nothing like that because that's really dehumanizing somebody. And kids are very impressionable. And I don't know what that was about, but that school definitely needs to be under investigation about that because that is just, that's, that's disgusting to be honest with you. I don't even know who even started it. Was it a, a prank? Was it a school function? Was it a dare? What is this? Some Somebody tell me. Get in the comments and, and tell me about this because I don't understand it because if my kid was there, we're going to shut the whole damn school down because that that's, that's not right, okay? Because some people really like feet. Some people get off on stuff like that and it looked like it was adult feet. So we need to figure this out, Oklahoma and figure out and do some type of deep investigation, not just a little investigation, because we know, I'm not even going to speak on that. But um, Oklahoma, yeah, we know about y'all. So y'all need to do a deep investigation and see who all started this and see what's the root of it. Because we need to guide these kids in the right direction. And doing things like that, I do not agree with, okay? So we definitely need to 
guide these kids in the right direction and lead them and teach them things that we wasn't taught. They go for you teachers. They go for you parents as well. Stop leaving these parents, I mean, these teachers to do everything for your children. You have to, I know they spend a lot of time in school, but when they get home, check their homework. Ask them kids, was you licking feet at school? Cause I know y'all parents didn't know nothing about it. Cause y'all couldn't have. What kind of event is this? Yeah, this, this got under my skin because it's dealing with children. So of course it got under my skin and I had to come to a platform and speak on it. Yes, I did. So with that being said, Reality TV is coming to you, Oklahoma, whatever school this is, put me under fire, okay? Get it together. Investigate and fire those people that even did this because that is disgusting and dehumanizing, okay? And that's all I'm going to say about that, okay? But make sure you guys like, follow, and subscribe to Boss Talk because we on fire right now. Y'all see the 201K? Make sure y'all do that and keep it coming, baby, because we on fire. And we out. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.